Hi everyone and welcome to Book Boop. My name is Rachel and today I will be revealing my August TBR. So like all the other months in 2019, I have a different TBR theme for each month and this month is no different. Since August is my birthday month, I'm going to be focusing on my absolute favorite genre, which is paranormal. Paranormal is my theme for August and so everything that I'm reading this month mainly focuses on paranormal type themes, mostly ghosts because I am a huge sucker for ghost stories. I have five books total that I am hoping to be able to read through this month and I'm going to show you what those are and give you a little synopsis for each one. So let's go ahead and jump in. The first few books I have to show you are actually middle grade and I love reading middle grade ghost stories. Middle grade ghost stories for me are so incredible because they aren't gummed up with what a lot of YA books tend to have in paranormal books, which is like romance, honestly. It's so focused on the ghost story at hand, which is why I love reading them so much. They are a blast to read. So the first one I have to show you is called The Crossroads by Chris Grabenstein. This is a book I've had on my overall TBR on Goodreads for a very long time. I've been so interested in reading it. And this book a little bit of a spoiler. Spoiler not as in like the description, but I actually got a head start on my TBR for August and I just finished this book last night and it was amazing. I loved it and I can't wait to tell you all more about it in my August wrap up when I film that and probably post that in September. But this story is about the crossroads. It's about this crossroads between two highways that is haunted, where in the 1950s there was a huge wreck between a car and a Greyhound bus where everybody in the wreck died except for one person. And one of the people in particular that died is kind of the main focus of the story. He's a rather malevolent spirit who's bent on revenge. And initially at the beginning of the book, his story is trapped inside this tree here that's at the crossroads. This story was so much fun and it kind of jumps back and forth between present day and then also just what happened with this huge accident and just learning the mystery behind it. So there's lots of ghosty creepiness. It was amazing. This is a great read. I loved it and I'm so glad I, I mean, I flew through it. I absolutely flew, flew through it, but this one was so much fun. I finally got around to reading it. I'm so happy I did. So that's my first paranormal book for the month. The next one is one that I just picked up randomly a while back. I don't know a whole lot about it, but it looks like a lot of fun and it is called Graveyard Shift shift by Chris Westwood. So this story takes place in London. It's about this kid that goes to a cemetery and he ends up get, kind of stumbling upon this, um, what was it called? The Ministry of Pandemonium. And he ends up getting recruited for this ministry who basically tracks down spirits to lead them to the afterlife. So that's kind of the main focus of this book. I think there's a little bit of a battle between the Ministry of Pandem Pandemonium and some other sort of like mysterious ministry that's wanting to use these spirits for basically evil intent. But this looks like a lot of fun as well. It's a relatively short book, also middle grade. I'm excited to jump into this one. I probably honestly will be starting this one today. So I'm excited about that. So that's the other one. Um, these next three all go together and you have most likely heard of this. I'm going to be jumping into YA now and I'm wanting to read this series as it is at the moment and that is The Diviners by Libba Bray. Currently there are three books out in this series. There is another one to come next year in 2020. I'm not sure if that's going to be the last book or not but there are three out right now so I'm wanting to read the series as it is at the moment. So the first book is The Diviners. The second is called Layer of Dreams and the third which I'm borrowing from the library is it's called Before the Devil Breaks You, which this one has a very creepy cover. This one looks, looks slightly terrifying. So let me hold up Diviners again. So I don't know a whole lot about this book other than the fact that it is set in New York in the 1920s and we are following this girl who has, I believe like clairvoyant type gifts or she's able to speak with the dead or she sees spirits or something like that. And she ends up getting intertwined into an investigation of a serial killer. I'm pretty positive that's what's going on. I know there's probably a lot more to the story than that. I've heard that this story is extremely creepy, which sounds 
amazing and I've heard so many good things about this series. I have been dying to read this series for such a long time. I also will be doing a buddy read, at least with this first book, The Diviners, with Kaylin from over at Kaylin Abridge. I will link her channel down below if you'd like to check her out. She's absolutely amazing. She's honestly one of my favorite booktubers. She's relatively new, but she is increasing in followers very quickly. And if you go check her out, you'll see why. She has an incredible aesthetic. She creates beautiful videos. She has such a sweet personality. I absolutely adore her and you will love her as well. So I'm looking forward to buddy reading with her and do my very first buddy read ever with her. Um, and just in general, I've never done a buddy read before. So I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to getting to know Kaylin a little bit more as well and hopefully we kind of become better friends. But yeah, so those are all five of the books that I'm hoping to get to this month. I am so excited to be jumping into my absolute favorite genre. I love paranormal so much. So three things. Number one, have you read any of these books that I mentioned today? If you have, please let me know down below what you think about them. Number two, what are you planning to read in August? Do you have any reading plans, a TBR set up? Let me know about that as well. And then number three, if you have any paranormal recommendations for me, specifically kind of focusing on ghosts, please give me those recommendations. I'm always looking for more of those. I love those stories so much. I inhale them like crazy. They're my bread and butter. So if you have any suggestions, I would really appreciate it. On this side of the screen over here is my logo. If you click on that, you can subscribe to my channel and follow me on my book journey. On this side over here is another video if you like to watch another one right now. But thank you so much for watching. You rock. And don't forget to keep reading. Bye.